so got this battery put it on the balance charger Let's check the voltage everything was fine plugged it in to a brushed ESC on a brushed motor it has a JST plug and ran it for um, maybe a minute, minute and a half. Car stopped running, this battery swole up, one of the cells popped a hole, started to leak. Um, I couldn't detach it because this battery got so hot that it melted the connector together so I had to cut the ESC connector and um, now I'm just charging it if you can see I don't know if you can see the bubbles coming off of the the negative the negative leads will bubble like that in the salt water so yeah I had this I ran it I ran it on a brush system that's what's crazy a brush system with the JTS I didn't even have to have an adapter it I was running the the proper adapter with the proper ESC and this is what happened yeah one minute of running maybe have a video um, I'll post it maybe it's in my little uh, my A959 my A959B A959A um, uh, Frankenstein because it's like a mix of both of those it's got A959 parts and A959B parts <clears throat> so this is the result so I was digging these little mini batteries I was all juiced and um, they can't they uh, arrived really fast shipping was really fast um, but as you can see it didn't last very long so I gotta discharge this to go drop it off at Lowe's or something like that. I got another one I gotta discharge too. I probably should have did that now, but it's actually pretty pretty good still. It's holding the charge pretty good, but it's a little puffy. Um so I guess I'll hit the seller up and show on um I took some pictures of it when it was all swollen and hot. And maybe he'll send me another one. Maybe I just got a bad one. Or I might just ask for a refund because um, this shouldn't happen. Brand new battery. Um, should not do this after one minute of run time. But anyway, guys, this is, uh, if you don't know, this is in a salt water solution. It's just basically table salt and water. And uh, what you do is you cut the cut the leads off so they're exposed, and it'll discharge. That's why that negative, if you can see the negative is bubbling like that, it's discharging through those leads. The the black lead, if you can see the bubbles. This is how you could discharge your batteries, and they're safe to dispose afterward. Um, just get yourself a container. I wouldn't use metal, um, so use like a Tupperware or something like that, I guess, and just add salt and water and let it sit for 24, 48 to 48 hours, and you're good to go. But anyway, it's a little disappointing. Brand new battery, swole up. It got so hot and swollen after a minute, one minute, a minute and a half of driving. I'm gonna check the video and see how long it actually is. Um, I'll post it too, just to um, show you. Anyway, guys, this is how you discharge lipo batteries. There's there's other ways. This is one way. You could also discharge it with a motor um, hooked up straight to it or something like that. It's like a resistance type discharge. This is the salt water discharge. Anyway, guys, peace.